So <laughs> the first question is, what was your childhood like? My childhood was pretty happy um, as far as childhoods go. Uh, nothing too traumatic. Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, I had my sister, my older sister, and we had a pretty big age gap. And so at times that could be difficult um, mm -hmm. because I was much younger than her and we were both you know, very self-absorbed as child, as children. <laughs> um, I think as most kids are, they don't really, they're not really thinking about what's going on around them, just how it relates to them. But as we got older, our relationship got a lot better. And I would say that we're very, very close now. And I think that those struggles that we had as kids, um, we saw it as an opportunity to bring us closer together rather than farther apart. So yeah, it was a good childhood. <laughs> so day-to-day -day life living in New York city. Um, I usually wake up. Do you want to know my, like my routine? Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. So I usually am woken up by the dog uh between 5 and 5 30 in the morning um <laughs> and i wake up and i come downstairs and i make coffee and Gigi immediately gets on the couch and falls back asleep she's not waking me up because she wants to go out she's waking me up because she thinks it's time for me to be up and her to take her morning nap um so i make coffee and then i sit on the couch and i will Look at the New York Times or scroll on Instagram, more likely. <laughs> and then usually about a half an hour later, after I've had my coffee, we will either go for a walk or I will go to the gym. And then I come back and get her. And then we go for a walk to Central Park. Um, Central Park is about 15 minutes away from our apartment. And before 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., all the dogs can be off leash. Um, so they just run around and cause mayhem. Um, <laughs> and so we go over to the park and we have like we have our standard spots that we go to and that dogs usually congregate. And so she plays with her friends and she gets her exercise and then we walk home and she's tired and she's dragging her feet and uh, I'm picking up every stick that she sees. <laughs> and then we get home and I open my computer, start my work day. So that's like 9 a.m. now. And I work, 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 work uh, <laughs> for like four hours, four or five hours. And then I take a break, usually in the middle of the day and have some lunch or take Gigi for a walk um and then I work some more the rest of the day <laughs> and then around 5 30 is usually when I sign off and Gigi will let me know that that time is coming near because she'll start bothering me and like nudging me <laughs> she really keeps me on schedule um and then we go out for our evening walk and she plays with her friends again and then we come home and she gets fed and I get fed because my lovely husband makes dinner <laughs> for me. And then we watch TV and then we go to bed, nice. bed by 830. <laughs> Sounds like a very <laughs> fulfilling day. <laughs> it is. That's a normal, that's a normal work day. So we So speaking of how your husband makes dinner for you, could you yeah. tell us more about your husband, Tyler? I absolutely can. He is listening right now. <laughs> okay. So he is really, he's very smart and he's very competitive and he really enjoys fantasy football and <laughs> he has three different fantasy football teams that he manages every year. Um, in addition to fantasy football, he also really likes to research things on the internet and find out very obscure facts 
or Mm -hmm. really strange uh, little books. Like he ordered a cookbook last week called The Art of Microwaving. And I think it was published in like when microwaves first became a thing, like when, I don't know, the fifties or something. And so this was like a new fangled invention and there <laughs> have step-by-step details for how you should microwave everything from like oatmeal to how to bake a cake in the microwave. Um, so it's pretty fascinating. So he's interested in, in quirky things like that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, was there anything specific that made you want to work in the restaurant industry? Um, well, I was, how old are you? 13. That's what I thought. (laughs) Um, I was probably around your age and, um, I was really into, cooking and baking and doing things with my hands and I would like do that in my free time you know every chance I got um I didn't really think about it in terms of a career choice until I was much older and because this was before you know it the restaurant industry was really glamorized um Mm -hmm because of Anthony Bourdain or, you know, whatever. Um, So I didn't really think of it as a career option until I was 18 or so when I took a year off after high school. Um, And I I didn't go straight to college. And I went and worked at a bed and breakfast in New Hampshire for a couple of months. I volunteered there in exchange for a place to stay and food. So I started working in the kitchen there and realized that it didn't feel like work. Like, you know, hours were going by and I didn't notice that the time was passing. Whereas, you know, in high school, you're forced to do homework and it feels like such a chore and just to get through it. And this didn't feel like that. And so I saw other people around me doing that for a living. And so I was like, maybe I guess I could do that too because I really enjoy it Um, and it felt exciting and engaging and every day was different nothing was ever the same Um, and you met you know you meet very unique people from all different walks of life Um, and it was just it was alive like it wasn't I'm gonna go study some statistics kind of thing (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so I guess that's why yeah it didn't feel nice. like work yeah in the beginning <laughs> after a couple years it feels like work <laughs> so we talked a little bit about your dog and how you like to go on walks with her but could you tell us more about Gigi more about Gigi well <laughs> she is a half golden retriever, half Labrador retriever. She is two years old. She weighs about 75 pounds. And she thinks that she weighs maybe 30 pounds. <laughs> um, she will eat anything that she can get her mouth on, whether or not it is edible or food. <laughs> um, and she's very social. She really likes people a lot. And she really likes other dogs and she loves to wrestle and play. And she wants to be best friends with our cats and they pretty much have nothing to do with her. Um, She's very patient um, and she's a lot of fun. Yeah. Nice. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy meeting her? Yes. She was very sweet and very well-trained. (laughs) <laughs> yes except for when she stole the leash from us and took off in your neighbor's car <laughs> yeah <laughs> except for that <laughs> mm-hmm. people say to me when they meet her oh she's so well trained she's so well trained but mm-hmm. she has we all have our moments none of us are perfect <laughs> um, 
Um, could you tell us more about your family members and how you like to spend time with them? So in my immediate family, I have my sister, Rachel. Mm -hmm. I have my dad and his wife, Linda. And I have my husband. My sister is married to Noam and together they have four children and they all live in Brooklyn together. And to spend time with them, we usually we go out to Brooklyn because it's easier for us to travel to them. And Mm -hmm. we like to play basketball with the kids. Um, the last time that we played basketball with them though, I fell and sprained my ankle about 10 10 (laughs) seconds, 10 seconds into the game. Um, so my basketball career was very short lived, but, um, it's actually Rachel's birthday this coming weekend. So we might have a birthday basketball game. We'll see, but (laughs) usually we spend it outside at the park or with the dog, um, cooking, or watching bad reality cooking shows like Nailed It um, or Is It Cake. Um, sometimes we'll do Nailed It competitions where like we will try to do that. Maybe we could do that with you guys. That could be fun. Um, <laughs> and we watch movies and we play games. What else? 20 questions. Lots of 20 questions. <laughs> um yeah, that's what we do. Right. Nice. <laughs> Nailed it is the best cooking show there is. <laughs> yes, it definitely is a special, entertaining <laughs> part of the TV. <laughs> <laughs> wow. My favorite place in the world uh, would be would ha- would probably be Grandma's old house. Um, I don't know. Do you remember that house in Zanesville? A little bit, just a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Um, so that house is a very special place because and it's probably my favorite place because it's, it's where we would go when we were on vacation, um, or it was a holiday. And so all the family was together with no work to do and no obligations and, just spending time with one another, playing board games or watching TV or cooking, going on walks or snowball fights or water balloon fights uh, or art activities. So it was just um, a, a very relaxing, exciting place to go to when I was a kid. And mm-hmm. so I have very warm memories of that house and when I was little I actually asked my mom if I could go to college in Zanesville so that I could live with grandma and grandpa uh I didn't do that eventually but that's how much I loved it when I was a kid wow that's very sweet yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so could you tell us about some of your favorite hobbies um my favorite hobbies would be walking the dog and looking at funny videos online with Tyler and the kids and uh, baking for my loved one. Um, and he, yeah, yeah. And reading. I like to read a lot. Nice. Do you have yeah. a favorite genre you like to read about? Um, I don't know. No, I don't think I have a favorite genre. I'll read a a lot of things, fiction, nonfiction, memoirs, um, science fiction, anything, you name it. I'll read it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Do you have any short or long term goals for the future? Well, I was curious about this. What do you define as short term? <laughs> I don't know, like something you're going to finish uh, in the week. <laughs> That's hard, Audrey. <laughs> A lot of things are coming to mind. <laughs> oh, God. I need to buy Rachel a birthday present. Mm-hmm. Um I already know what it is that I'm going to get her, but I need to actually do it. That's a (laughs) short-term goal. 
Um, another short term goal is that I have people coming over on Friday from work. Uh, so I need to like bake some things for them. Uh, so I need to decide, I need to look in my pantry and see what I have. Cause I don't really want to buy anything. I want to make do with what I already have. So I need to like <laughs> hodgepodge some things together. Mm-hmm. Um, another goal would be to decide what we're going to do for new year's because we, Tyler doesn't have a lot of time off of work, but I have two full weeks off in December and I want to make the most of it, but I, you know, I can't go to Italy by myself. I mean, I could, <laughs> but that wouldn't be very fair. Um, so we have a couple of days and we need to decide what we're going to do for that for things to get crazy expensive. So those are my short term goals. Nice. So this, yeah. <laughs> and now long term goals. Yeah. Okay, so if if short term is like this week, mm-hmm. what is long term? Like a year? Two years? Yeah, multiple multiple years, I guess. Multiple years. Um, long-term goals. Do, 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 do. <laughs> um, well, Tyler would really, we would like to buy an apartment here in New York. Um, but it's very expensive. It's very expensive. <laughs> Um, and it's hard to think about putting all of the money that you've saved over your lifetime into this one thing. So either we're going to spend it on an apartment or I guess keep saving it. So I guess a long-term goal would be to decide what the best thing for us is and then do it. Um, <laughs> Another long-term goal would be to spend more time with you guys. I want, I think we talked, your mom and and Rachel and I briefly talked about like coming up with like a family vacation that we could all do together. And so, yeah, we need to figure that out. That's a long-term goal. (laughs) Where do you think we should go? I think we should go to Australia. Australia. (laughs) Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how much flights are right now? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could take a picture of me with you to Australia and then yeah. <laughs> then we'll have gone to Australia together. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to do in Australia? I don't know. We could probably we could find out like what the foods are there, you know, the local There's food. actually, there's this, oh, my favorite pastry is this pastry. It's called, it's just called the date tart. And um, it's a pie that has dates in the bottom and then a custard that's set on top, baked and set on top. And it's, you can only get it in, in this restaurant in Sydney. Um, mm-hmm. So if I were going to go into Australia, that would be, the first thing on my itinerary <laughs> actually that sounds really good <laughs> but it's really expensive to go somewhere just to buy a pie so i that's true i haven't been able to justify that yeah <laughs> well the final question um you're an inspiration to me because of your hard work and dedication to everything you aspire and in what you do um, do you have any role models or anyone who inspires you? Um, I think that you really inspire me. <laughs> You're like, you really have your stuff together for <laughs> like your age and you have interests and you act on them and you're pursuing what you want. Um, and it's not the conventional way to pursue something and, you you don't wait for someone to say oh you know what audrey if you're interested in this thing you should do this you have figured it out yourself and i think that a lot more people your age are doing that as opposed to people of my generation before us we were just kind of handed things um i also think that your generation is more likely to stand up for what you think is right and you have seen the way things should be and you will hold your elders accountable to that and so 
I really respect you guys and your generation. And that's, that's who inspires me to be better because you guys have to live here long after I die. So, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that's very <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Can I ask you some questions now? Sure. <laughs> okay, so what is what is your favorite place and why? Um hmm. favorite place is probably wherever my family is. So mm-hmm. I guess, you know, that would be everywhere. <laughs> but if I had to choose like a, a very specific place, I would say Italy. Italy? Of, yeah. The food, the culture. Uh I'm, you know, kind of, I'm Italian, so mm-hmm. I like Italy a lot mm-hmm. do you have a favorite kind of pasta hmm. so it kind of depends on the sauce if i'm having like just regular spaghetti sauce maybe i'll just you know do angel hair spaghetti but if it's like a bolognese with like you know lots of different stuff i want um is it, i feel like it's called rigatoni what is it called is it yeah rigatoni? rigatoni it's the noodle yeah. it's yeah it's the longer yeah, it's, like, it's Yes. Yeah, it's like they're yeah pretty. Cylinders. They're like yeah, mm-hmm. so, yes, and that's good for scooping up sauce. <laughs> yes, that is true. That is true. What are your What are your short term goals for this week? This week, uh, yeah. pack for my trip to Canada. <laughs> you going to Canada? Yeah, on Thursday, so I have to pack. Like, where are you guys days. going? We're going to Montreal and Quebec, Canada. Nice. <laughs> Yeah. that'll be fun montreal is very pretty mm-hmm. and there's good food there <laughs> and have you do you have any interviewers that you really admire <laughs> i know that oprah is in your signature <laughs> yes but <laughs> like one. barbara mm-hmm. walters diane sawyer mm-hmm. you know yeah uh definitely oprah anderson cooper is cool i like him mm-hmm. 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 what about andy cohen I was about to say him too. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I think. Do you have any other questions that came up? No other questions. No? No. Okay. Well, we can always do this again sometime. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) If you think of other questions. Okay. Um. All right. Well, I will see you in a couple weeks. <laughs> okay. Okay. Love Bye. you. Love you. Thank Bye. you. <laughs>